John 18, verse 36, KJV, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. In the King James Version, it reads, But now is my kingdom not from hence. Meanwhile, in the new versions it reads, But my kingdom is not from the world. Or, My kingdom is not of this realm. Jesus is saying his kingdom where he will reign physically on earth has yet to come, but is in the future. New versions leave earth up for the church to reign in his stead giving Catholics justification for popes, priests, and the clergy. There is a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, where the kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you, while the kingdom of heaven is physical, as Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Acts 4, verse 27. KJV. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together. In the King James Version, it reads, Holy Child. Meanwhile, in the New Versions, it reads, Holy Servant. Jesus is supposed to be equal to God, and Jesus is the bodily manifestation of God. As the only begotten Son, Holy Child, you can see how this interpretation is consistent. Meanwhile, to be called Servant is, means to be by default subordinate, which means that Jesus is lesser than God. Same error can be found in Acts 4 verse 30. Acts 12 verse 4. KJV. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. In the King James Version it reads, Easter. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Passover. This sometimes gets treated like a KJV boo-boo. But looking at this further shows, once again, the AV is without error. One must consider the Greek word Pashka can mean Passover, yet also means Easter, as used by the Greek Orthodox Church. Herod wouldn't have been celebrating Passover, being that he was a Roman pagan who would have worshipped Ishtar, a.k.a. the Queen of Heaven, and after Passover, Nisan 16, comes the Days of Unleavened Bread, where verse 3 already said that they were in this time period, which lasted a total of seven days, while Easter would have been on Nisan 17, after Passover, during the Days of Unleavened Bread where Herod would have wanted to bring Peter out to the people ASAP and not waiting a whole year to do so. The KJV is right for saying Easter, while the new versions are wrong for saying Passover. Romans 4 verse 25, KJV who was delivered up for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. In the King James Version it reads, raised for our justification. Meanwhile, the new versions read, because of our justification. 
Jesus Christ rose from the dead for our justification, implying that we were not justified. If you were to say raised to life because of our justification, then you can easily interpret this as saying that he was raised because of how righteous we are. We are not righteous, and Jesus Christ was not raised because we are righteous. He was raised so that we could be found this way, being redeemed by his blood, and being imputed righteousness. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27 KJV, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. In the King James Version it reads, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Meanwhile, the new versions read, Rather, I'm landing punches on my own body and subduing it like a slave. Or, but I do more than merely spar with my basar. I pommel it and keep it under strict subjection. Or, I toughen my body with punches and make it my slave. Or... No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave. If you are abstaining from sin in your flesh, you are keeping your body under control. Hence, keep under. You should be able to do this without inflicting bodily harm to yourself. And this rendering disgustingly justifies toxic coping methods that can escalate in time. Sounds like Legion from Luke 8 verse 29, or even the Catholic priests enacting self-flagellation through penance. Which, knowing that these new versions come from the Vatican, shows that its influence is from devils. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 17, KJV, For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God speak we in Christ. In the King James Version it reads, Which corrupt the word of God. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Peddlers of God's word or peddling the word of God. New version translators peddle corrupt copies of the word of God. If someone was selling a genuinely valuable product, I would be thankful that they were able to produce it, especially if it is the word of God. There is no reason for over 200 English translations of the Bible within the last 150 years, which could only be attributed to the love of money, i.e. peddling the word of God. Galatians 5 verse 12, KJV I would they were even cut off which trouble you. In the King James Version, it reads, We're even cut off which trouble you. Meanwhile, the new versions read, Would emasculate themselves. To cut off means to excommunicate. The evil that comes from wishing your enemies to emasculate slash castrate themselves is something so evil I could not understand how any Christian could actually believe that God would include this in his word. The deranged and twisted mindset of this rendering is something you wouldn't even expect from your average lost person. Most people have enough common sense that this rendering comes from the devil along with many of these new versions. Philippians 2 verse 6, KJV, Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 
In the King James Version, it reads, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Meanwhile, in the New Versions, it reads, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Is Jesus God or is he not? If Jesus is, then he should have found it not robbery to be equal with God, because he is God. If he was not God, then he could not have considered equality with God something to be grasped. You obviously see how Jesus knew that he is God based on the KJV rendering, but you cannot interpret the new version rendering any other way. God is not the author of confusion, which makes you wonder which God made these new versions. Colossians 1 verse 16 KJV For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. In the King James Version it reads, by him. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, through him. Is Jesus Christ God? One rendering says he is, the other doesn't. Genesis 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Isaiah 44 verse 24 says, Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Jesus Christ either completely made the heaven and the earth, or he didn't. You either call him God, or you don't. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 16 KJV Forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved, to fill up their sins alway, for the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. In the King James Version it reads, For the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, But God's wrath has come upon them at last, completely, and forever. To say wrath has come upon them to the uttermost is like a parent saying, I've had it up to here with you, meaning frustrated to the point of exasperation. To say that judgment has come upon a group completely and forever is saying there is no chance of redemption. Romans 11 verse 2 says, God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Although a Jew that doesn't believe in Jesus is lost and will go to hell if they don't repent, the seed of Abraham still has everlasting spiritual promises tied to them. And as Romans 11 verse 20 to 21 says to Christian Gentiles, Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. If you want to see more differences, subscribe to this channel or go to Gumroad and download list. Also on Gumroad is a KJV vs. New tract along with other tracts and content you can download and print. All monetary contributions are appreciated. Thank you for watching this segment and hope this has been to your edification.